Hey, what's up, y'all? And welcome to my report. This story takes place out in Spanaway, Washington, to where I live at, right here in the Tacoma area, to where this man you see here on the left uh, will be spending the next eight years in prison for murder in the second degree of a 21-year-old man that was trying to steal a pack of cigarettes from him and as the suspect who was stealing the cigarettes was running away the defendant here pulled out a pistol and shot him twice in the back as he was running away and I guess to prior incidents uh, prior to him killing this guy his wife was also involved in a shooting in the store that they owned at that time was eight months well eight months prior which is uh which this story happened a little over a year ago so at that time when this happened they had owned the store at that time in 2016 had owned the store for about eight months so before i go any further let's watch some footage on what caused this man to shoot this 21 year old man over a pack of cigarettes let's watch New video, a man with a gun storms into a Spanaway convenience store. Watch the clerk, instead of handing over the cash, she grabs a gun, her own gun, right next to the register and fires off a shot at that robber. That clerk had nerves of steel as she stared down the barrel of a gun. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Lorch. And I'm Jamie Tompkins. The clerk's husband gave us that video saying he's overcome with guilt that he wasn't there to protect his wife. Steve Kiggins is live in Spanaway with more on the clerk's bravery and the suspect's first appearance in court. Steve? Yeah, that's right, Jamie. The clerk's husband tells me his wife is doing sore, but She's doing really okay. She's recovering at home today. Security cameras recorded this whole thing going down. It turns out that the clerk had her own gun and had a big surprise for that robber. Bullet that went through her body. And then the bullet sliced right through this drink display that stood right behind 30-year-old Sue Lim. Cameras caught the terrifying moments when prosecutors say Tyrone Prophet Jr. barged into the Spanaway Quick Mart with his gun already drawn on Lim. Still can't get a little bit that I should have been here, you know. And yeah, so she could not get shot. He gives her a bag for the money, but watch while she pulls the money out of the till. She waits and then pulls out her own handgun. In a flash of gunpowder, Lim fired at the robber but missed. The bullet flew past his head and into the ceiling. Cops say Proffert fired his own gun too, but his bullet went through Lim's side. The suspect took off, leaving behind the money and his mask. Cops later pulled Proffert and his girlfriend over at a gas station in Tacoma. Security video there shows cops with weapons drawn during the arrest. Profit pled not guilty to assault and attempted robbery charges today. He's being held on a million dollars bail. Police believe he could be connected to a series of violent armed robberies across Spanaway. Neighbor Jody Yost thinks her daughter could be one of his victims. My daughter was actually robbed twice at gunpoint at a local coffee shop right here in the area. Strangers left flowers and gifts at Lim's convenience store on Friday. Her husband is thankful police nabbed their man. I'm glad she's fine and... Yeah, and I, I'm glad that they got they caught the guy who shot her, and I hope the law is going to do their job. So police say they believe the shooting suspect's girlfriend drove the getaway car. So far, she has not been charged. She could be released from jail tonight. CPS also took custody of a young child. They say they found inside the getaway car at the arrest, but they don't believe that young child was in the car during the robbery. That's the latest. We're live in Spanaway. Steve Kiggins, Q13 News. I will do this again if I have to keep my life. And if I have to defend my life, I will make the same decision. Just moments after that interview, police arrested that clerk in connection with a deadly shooting inside his family's convenience store. The clerk says that he feared for his life, but police say surveillance video tells a different story in the shooting death of a 21-year-old man Friday night. And here's the thing. This is the second shooting at that store in just two months. Steve Kagans joins us live from Pierce County with more. Steve? Yeah, Matt, that arrested clerk's wife. She she was actually injured during a shootout with an alleged robber just about a month and a half ago. Today, we interviewed the clerk right before police put those handcuffs on him. He told me he felt he had to defend his life, 
The police tell us the man he shot and killed posed no threat. He was keep reaching for my gun, and I was really afraid that what if he was, what if he took actually my gun and shoot me. 30-year-old Min Kim told Q13 News he thought he would be killed when he claims a man trying to steal cigarettes pushed him to the ground and tried to steal his gun. I pulled my gun, gun out and I shot him a couple times, yes. But Pierce County Sheriff's deputies say store surveillance video captured a much different scenario between the clerk and the victim, 21-year-old Jaquiel Mason, as he tried getting away. The struggle that we see on the video is a store clerk punching the suspect. And then when the suspect goes to leave the store, we have video of the store clerk firing rounds at him. It's not the first time bullets flew at the Pacific Quick Mart. Back in February, Kim's wife, Sewell, got into a shootout with an alleged robber. A bullet ripped through her side, and the shooter took off running. Police quickly arrested that suspect. The two shootings are not related, according to investigators. But this time, police say Sewell's husband wasn't in any danger. We know that just the previous month that his wife was shot out there in a robbery. We understand that. That probably leads to high emotions and people carrying weapons. But if you're going to carry a weapon, you have to have the responsibility of carrying that weapon. And we can't have shoplifts turn into homicides. Now, the shooting victim in this case, he is no stranger to law enforcement. Police tell us that Mason pled guilty after trying to abduct a six-year-old Tacoma girl. He also pled guilty to attempted burglary. Now, the clerk here will likely face a judge tomorrow. He could face murder in the second degree. We're live in Spanaway. Steve Kiggins, Q13 News. 31-year-old Min C. Kim has shot and killed Jaquiel Mason as he tried to run out of the Pacific Quick Stop on the 25th of March of last year. Mason had tried to put several packs of cigarettes in his pockets. Another customer told Kim, and Kim and Mason fought, according to charging papers. Okay, as Mason tried to flee, Kim fired, which fired two shots, which killed Jaquiel Mason. And video footage from the store showed Mason no longer was a threat to Kim and was running away when he was shot. The prosecutor said, in charging the store owner. Okay, uh, Mason who's 21 years old, a young uh, black male, died at the scene. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... How can I say this? Okay, Washington State, which is very, very strict on the use of a firearm. Okay, this state is very strict because when I first moved here 31 years ago, and it's a whole different world when you come here to Washington State, especially when owning a gun. It's, and in some case, it's hard to even purchase a handgun here. Even if you, even if you get caught shoplifting, they want, they want to deny you for having a handgun. If you don't know your rights here in Washington State, you will get screwed. Okay, you will get screwed. And in, 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 in the system, really, is messed up when, when it comes to black folks purchasing a handgun. Okay. Um, Okay, uh, was this young man wrong for stealing? Yes, he was wrong for going into this this man's establishment shoplifting. Okay, but the problem that I have with with Mr. Kim here is if the person is not if they're running away from you, then they're no longer a threat to you, and that's what got him into trouble. He, he, as this young man was running from him, Kim actually shot this man. He shot this man. And uh, I don't think it was worthy of him killing this young man over a, pack of cigarettes, over a pack of cigarettes. But don't get me wrong. That young man, Jakari Mason, was wrong. He was wrong. He was totally wrong. He was wrong 100%. And... Um, Actually, his name, excuse me, Jaquiel Mason. Jaquiel Mason was 100% wrong. Okay? Uh, it's unfortunate that Mr. Kim doesn't know the law like he think he does. Okay? Um, he should have handled that differently. Now, I can see that if Mason had robbed him at gunpoint, but even then... 
the laws are so strict up here in Washington. They're saying even if the even the shoplifter had had a weapon on him and he's running, he's running away. He's running away, and you still get and you still shoot at this person and you kill them. Washington State will still press charges against you. That's like if in Washington State, if somebody breaks into your home here, if somebody breaks into your home. The only way you can legally kill them if they break it into your home. But if they break into your home and they try to climb out the window, try to go out through the door, and you shoot them in the back, and you injure them or kill them, the state of Washington will press charges against you. So living up here is a whole different world when you're living here in Washington State. It's true. I live here. I live in Washington. I've been here 31 years. So I know the laws here in Washington State. And they're really screwed up. They are really screwed up. But it's unfortunate. Like I say again, it's unfortunate what happened to his wife prior to this incident. You know, because her had she got was you know had was was robbed at gunpoint and she tried to defend herself and she ended up getting shot in the side. Luckily, the bullet didn't damage no major organs. So, from Mr. Kim's side, that's probably what he was thinking. He probably, he probably, you know, what he was thinking, like, well, you know, my wife's already been robbed and been been shot at up in here, so I'm not taking any chances. But once again, if they're running away from you, you cannot shoot them. You cannot use deadly force if they're running away from you. But it's funny though, if you're if you're running away from the police, they can shoot you, but nothing happens to them. Depends where you're at though. But luckily, uh, the same thing happened in South Carolina. But this brother didn't have no gun on him. He didn't have a gun on him. So uh, luckily, Michael Slayer was prosecuted for what he did. But anyway. Um, you gotta know you got you, depends what state you live in. You got to know your laws. You gotta know, them. especially when it, especially when a, when a, when a firearm is involved. You gotta know what you're doing. You better know you better know the law because if you don't know it, you will get screwed. Just like this guy. But like I say again. You can't shoot them. You can't use deadly force if they are running away from you, people. They can, you cannot use deadly force. Because if they're running away from you, they no longer pose a threat to you or to your loved ones. Keep that in mind. Washington State is probably one of, probably one of the toughest states when it comes to using deadly force. Especially when when a handgun or any kind of firearm is involved and I should know because I have a degree in criminology and forensics technology I have a degree in that so I know what I'm talking about so if anybody want to get in and want to want to uh, question my credentials there you have it I have a degree I know what I'm talking about all right thanks for listening thanks for watching the videos here don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channels. Check out my website, DunhamReport.com. And until next time, I'm done. And I'm out.